I wanted to show you guys what I found under one of the desks. <gasps> Today's day. Here's what I learned. Here's what happened. Tomorrow is it. Tomorrow is D-Day and I, ooh, I am way more nervous as a teacher going into state testing than I ever was as a student. I feel like all year we've been making a movie, working at a movie, and then tomorrow is the movie premiere where all of your hard work is put on display. And I know there's so much more to what they've learned than what's going to show on a state test, but ooh, it's still like, it's still quite nerve wracking. This is my second year teaching, but I've never had state testing before. This will be my first year doing state testing because last year it was all canceled because of COVID. And I wanna bring you along on the state testing process, the before, the during, the after, not like the actual during because I would lose my license for that. But let's talk a little bit about what I did before. One thing I did is I took the state testing course. It was like 35 minutes or something like that. It went over what you could get in trouble for, what you could lose your license for doing. It released like statement documents that you had to sign and submit into your administration. Today is the Sunday before we start the state testing. So I came in just because there are a few things I wanna do. I want to clean out all the desks because some of the desks have like worksheets or textbooks, random things that they le they've left behind. And obviously those can't be in the desk. So I'm gonna clean out their desk. I'm gonna make the sitting chart. They just gave me the list after school on Friday of the students who will be in my room and the students who won't be able to. So I'll be able to make my sitting chart now. I'm gonna collect all the calculators I have. I'm a math teacher. And so tomorrow is English. So we don't need all the calculators organized until next week, but I wanted to go ahead and collect them and count them and see how many I had in case we're short and we need to buy some more. I also wanna clean the whiteboard on the back. I'm gonna enter in a grade from this past week. And lastly, I'm gonna hopefully finish my review sheet. I've been taking too long on making this review sheet rather than using already available online graphics I'm making all my own and that might have been a little bit much on my part this past Friday after school I took down all my posters I was actually getting kind of sad taking this stuff down it just made me very reminiscent of the beginning of the school year when there were so many unknowns and I didn't have any idea what the school year was going to look like. I made a, cl a classroom setup video if you wanna watch how I made that and put that all together. I'll link it here, um, but yeah. And my room is starting to look so empty. I think I'll probably put them back up for the rest of the school year. We'll have like three or four weeks left of school. So I think I'll put them back up, but I haven't quite decided yet. Do you guys put your posters back up after testing? Let me know. I think the first thing I'm going to do is make the seating chart for tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that right now. I finished the seating chart. I think it looks good. I might make a couple of adjustments, adjustments depending on how tomorrow goes, but I'm gonna go ahead and clear out all of the stuff in the desks right now. I wanted to show you guys what I found under one of the desks. I told them that these are the formulas they have to have memorized for the TCAP. This would have been really bad had they used it and we found out about it. I was going to throw it away, but they even got one of these formulas wrong. It's supposed to be four thirds pi r cubed. Now I'm gonna clean the whiteboard. That way the room just feels nice and clean. I'm making a single review sheet where it has everything that they need to know just on one sheet so they can quickly reference it and study it when they have free time this next week. I've been working on it for almost an hour and a half now, so, but I haven't done a time lapse yet, so I'm gonna do that now while I continue to work on it. And then I also need to put in a grade from this week, so I'll be working on both those things now. So I saved my cleaning for last. Some people say best for last, not me. I hate cleaning, so. But cleaning my classroom is not as bad as cleaning my house, at least for me, I feel that way. I'm going to start the cleaning with my desk area, continue the cleaning with the cart area, and finish the cleaning in the standing cupboard area. Let's do it. just finished cleaning and I'm tired. It's getting close to nine o'clock and I said I'd be here at nine and it's like eight 
58 so i have two more minutes so i'll try to wrap this up and then head out of here here's a plan for tomorrow i have bus duty so they told me to come early to the front office get my materials together and that way when it's time the bell for school starts i can just quickly go to the front office and grab the materials the testing packets and stuff like that remember when you took tests as a kid and the facilitator would read off a script and stuff like that i haven't gotten the script yet but tomorrow i'll get the script and i'll be able to read it so that'll be interesting as well we had a meeting last week and they went over procedures the kids are going to leave their backpacks in the hallway and the hallways have cameras so their backpacks will be fine but no kids can wear any watches or have any cell phones on them at all they collect all of the faculty's cell phones and put them in the front just to be extra safe so obviously i'm not gonna like film that part of it. The kids can't have water bottles, which I thought was kind of weird. And tomorrow they said, make sure to not wear high heels, which I often wear high heels. So that's really good they said it because I might've not even thought about it because then when the students are taking the test, if you're walking around in heels, that can be distracting. They also said we could wear jeans. So I'm gonna find a pair of quiet tennis shoes and some jeans and we'll be here tomorrow. I'm gonna head out of here and I'll see you tomorrow. <gasps> Today's Friday. I just can't believe we're here. It just feels like ooh, everything we've worked through, every single day, every single lesson that I put extra time in, every extra five minutes that we worked, or I talked with a student to try to understand a concept, all of that is going to be displayed in their work today. I also tested out my shoes to see which ones would be more quiet, and I landed on these ones. The only thing I have left to do is put these in a closet in the hallway, and then I'm gonna go to the front office and pick up my materials, and then a few minutes after that i'm gonna have bus duty we'll see if i see you guys again i might not see you until after the test it's the end of the day let me give you the scoop i wasn't able to keep my phone obviously it makes sense now but as soon as they give you the testing materials you have to give them your phone so that you can't take i mean it makes sense you can't take pictures or do anything like that with the testing materials that way they don't even have to worry about it but here's what i learned here's what happened they gave us a big plastic bin that had highlighters and pencils extra masks it had scratch paper testing booklet with the facilitators instructions and the testing the actual testing booklets and the answer keys as soon as we got to homeroom which is their first period class this is where they come every day first at the beginning of the day first we used the restroom there are some students who were pulled out who had testing accommodations with the kids i had left i had a seating chart I officially completed the seating chart with like the absent students and stuff like that. And then once they were in their seat, I had to collect all their phones in a Ziploc bag that they brought to the front office. After I collect their phones, then they, they put their backpacks out in the hallway, lined them up outside. And then I read through a very similar script that I remember hearing as a student. There were a lot of little details as far as like signs that they gave you. You had to hang up the specific subpart that we were working on. You had to have on the board, the start time, the end time, the five minute warning. During the test, teachers aren't supposed to like be grading or working on a work. You can even have your computer on or anything. Five minutes before the end of the test, I said, okay, five minute warning. And then I, it had to remain completely silent even when the time was up. Overall, it was a little bit exhausting today administering the test. I think I was just so worried I was gonna do something wrong the whole time. And I was so worried that they, about their effort. I feel like teaching is a job where your performance isn't based off of how you're doing, but it's also based off of how other people are doing. And you can't control the decisions that other people make. And something that I've also really realized recently is that some students have a lot of test anxiety and they're already overly stressed for the situation. And then there are other students who probably don't have enough stress about the situation. They're looking forward to being able to nap once they're done. This past week, learning what to say to what students that will provide them the correct mindset towards approaching the test was interesting. I am just tired, I think because of all of the anticipation leading up to the first test. Like it's something that I've heard talked about for the past two years and it's like today was finally the day and there are things that could very much go wrong so you're just worried that those are the things that are going to happen to you all in all it was really good a little bit anticlimactic in a way i had my first period pretty much until lunch and then with my other classes we did a quizzes review and then we went outside for 10 minutes it was a pretty fun day after the tcap which was nice it's 
425. I worked a little bit more on the study guide tomorrow. We're actually gonna have a break in testing because students are gonna make up yesterday's test tomorrow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and resharpen all these pencils so that we're good to do this all over again. But if you're an educator, good luck. Best of luck in this testing season. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.